is going to be the video presentation on installing Exchange Server 2007 and just go right into the GUI. Okay, so I would think that would be the most common thing that most people would do. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing a scripted install. Absolutely not. I mean, there are definitely situations where that would come into play. Okay, now remember, we've already done all the pre installation work that's already all done. All we got to do right now is go ahead, create a brand new storage group, create a brand new database, it's no problem. Okay, so this initial screen just tells us that you know we're going to install Exchange and what it is. Make sure you always install the latest version. You want to try to install the version that has the latest service pack incorporated in the CD. You don't want to stick in an old Exchange install and then do the service pack upgrade afterwards. I mean, you can do that. It's probably just a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner, just to install the latest version with the service pack incorporated all at once. Kind of gives us a rundown of some of the basic features. We'll accept the terms of the license agreement, and we're going to support no error reporting. If you want to participate in the Microsoft program where we actually kind of report errors, you can do that. Now you have two options, either the typical or the custom. 99% of the time, you're going to do a typical exchange install. Now, you do have the option, and one of the big selling points of Exchange Server 2007 is its scalability. Okay, If I choose the custom option, I can choose to install the mailbox by itself. Notice these other options are grayed out. Client access by itself. Hub transport by itself. Unified messaging by itself. Okay, now watch this. If I pick the option to install the edge, everything else is turned off because the edge transport server role has to be installed on a server that is a non-domain member all by itself. Okay, so all those other options get turned off. I also have the option to install an active mailbox role and a passive mailbox role. Okay, and the program files will be at the default location, which is fine 99% of the time. What we're going to do is a typical install. Okay, if you really need the scalability of a custom install, by all means go for it. You can have one server that's just a CAS server. You could have one server that's going to be just the mailbox server, right? And we'll call this Exchange 12 Rocks, okay? We're going to support uh, the mix of clients. We'll have 2003 and 2007 Outlook clients. And it'll take off and do the uh, readiness checks. Okay, we can see that we meet the readiness checks. Uh, it's just telling us this is a 32-bit version, and we need to make sure we have a proper send connector built with a wildcard asterisk so we can send out uh, without any problems. So the, when we're done installing, we have to make sure that we have the proper send connector and we don't care about the 32-bit version part of it. Okay, We know it's 32-bit. And that's just going to go through and do the organizational prep, copy the files, install the management tools, the hub, the client, the mailbox role, We'll come back and look at this when it's finished. And there we can see it kind of finished up. So, you know, it's a little bit of a time consuming process, but not too bad. So you can see that everything's completed. So go ahead and click finish on that. And we'll have to reboot the server. And then the console opens and we can see that everything has installed successfully.